Been busy doing a bunch of stuff to the bus the last couple of days, trying to get it prepped so that we have a couple of good days of weather coming up here for doing some painting on it. But uh, this evening we're gonna try firing up the ductless split system. So we moved the bus back here to uh, connect it up to the post that it has uh, the 50 amp service on it for it. So we got it plugged in and got her moved back up here. So I just gotta go inside now and flip on, flip on the power, got the front hole in it front end of the bus taken apart too so that it's a lot easier to, to paint uh, some of the things here on the sides from where the lettering used to be had that ground down and primed just little by little trying to get this thing ready to go but I gotta flip the main power on and looks like all right green lights on green means go right and then I gotta walk inside and flip on some of the breakers and power up half the system not uh i mean the electrical system not the whole thing all right so let's take this i got the indoor unit installed yesterday and kind of finalized the line set drain lines electrical i still have to get a box cover for that um, where I have kind of a junction spot for my control slash power wire for the indoor unit, but it all tucks down here, goes down underneath to the condenser outside. So uh, we'll see if it fires up here and uh, put it on cooling. It's pretty warm in here right now. That's a good sign. And I got the ducks outside quacking away. Unit fired up. All right, it's blowing in here. Ducks are heading up to the house so they can get snacks. Amy just got home. They're all in a line. Let them go by. <laughs> Bye, ducks. All right, well, indoor unit's going. Probably take a minute for it to start to cool down. And then got the outdoor unit. Well, success. We tested out the heat and the air on it, and it's cooling down. So I think it, we're going to say that this one is another thing to knock off the checklist. But another thing I did the other day, too, was put this paneling back down here. This is the original bus walls, and I put it on both sides here. And then uh, that'll be in our dining room area, I guess. And it just kind of gives a little bit more of that, um, you know, feel of it being an original bus. So, but this is one more thing checked off. Pretty happy about that. Getting a little bit of an early start this morning. Today is going to be the day that I'm going to be painting the bus. So I'm pretty excited about that. I uh, spent the last couple of days getting everything prepped. So I went around and scuffed up the outside of the bus here uh, with some maroon or red scotch bright so that there's at least a an etched surface on it uh, and that way it'll create a mechanical bond with uh, the paint that's going to be going onto it also pulled all the door handles off of the storage compartments all the way around it and then some of the trim that was here on the edges and pulled any of the old caulk that was along the the bumper areas here and then fixed up some of the stuff up here on the roof as well and then pulled out some of my utility connections here electrical i could only slide out so i'll have to tape around that but uh, so this side's all ready to go and I just have to remove the one hinge here or the latch for the electrical compartment uh, before i spray but that one just won't stay shut um you know right now so uh I ended up pulling out the inner fenders right here too and the grill off of the front of it as well so that way I could get them painted up and not have uh, the contrast of the light blue on yellow have everything up here ready to go here's my inner fenders and my grill over here so I'm gonna tape up what I can right now here and then I will move the bus over to a better area to paint it uh, the other things that I did here up on the roof last couple of days i really didn't film it because i've been moving so fast on things yeah, I'll try to move it. see what i can do but 
I got rid of the emergency hatch here and over here and built some panels to go over the tops of those openings. So the top of the bus here is uh, has all the external components removed off of it and sealed up with uh, self-leveling seam sealer. This will get painted up here too with um, the elastomeric coating and that'll help seal up any of the rivet heads or seams that might be kind of weak and uh, leaking or could potentially leak. I'll get to that next, but I'm gonna paint the, the bus while I have a, at least a two days of good weather here to allow it to dry. Uh, the roof I can always do later, that's not a big deal. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get set up to start taping things off and then we'll get set up to start painting it once the sun comes up and things warm up a little bit. I kind of had to hurry up and get this done before the sun went down, but uh, got it all painted up, got the plastic pulled off the windows, so it'll just set up overnight and be pretty good shape here. Turned out pretty good. Up here at the top, you can still see there's some yellow, but that's because we're going to be running um, a white elastomeric coat down to this rivet line right here, so there's no point in wasting paint on it since it's all going to be covered anyway, but it is all painted up and even though the winds decided they were going to kick up today still worked out pretty decent for me to get it all taken care of i do have to pull the plastic off i just haven't done that yet because i don't want uh cats or even the chickens to try to go up inside of there right now a little bit of a deterrent um, and then i also painted up over here the fenders and the uh, front grill part of it too so they're all drying and be able to get those put back on as soon as they're dried up enough and then i'll get working on the inside getting the lights and everything else well i guess the lights on the outside get it watertight and then that way i can finish getting the inside of it done and uh hopefully get this thing listed and rented <music> 